I remember my family. I remember my father and my mother. My brothers, Chucho, little Jimmy, and Memo, the lawyer. My crazy sisters, Tony and Irene. I remember mi familia. New Line Cinema and Francis Ford Coppola present Edward James Olmos, Jimmy Smits, and Isai Morales in a sweeping epic that chronicles the hopes, the dreams, and the struggles of three generations of an American family. My family. Action! Directed by Gregory Nava, director of the Academy Award-nominated film El Norte, My Family spans three generations following the growth of the Sanchez family over 60 years, from a small town in Michoacan, Mexico, to Los Angeles, California. You folks are all from Mexico, huh? Yes. Yeah, my father walked here from Michoacan yeah. in 1926. He was 18 years old. Really? Yeah. Yes, it took me a year to get here. You're not coyotes. Yeah. Cut, <laughs> right? That's it. All right. What I want to tell in the film is the story of a family. I don't think you understand Latino culture unless you understand the family. Jimmy Smits plays Jimmy Sanchez, a single father with a troubled past. Jimmy, he's your son. As soon as he's old enough. When he's old enough to know, you just tell him that his father's dead. I like the span of the piece in terms of going from the early times of when California was part of Mexico and really seeing this family go through the 50s and the, and the 80s. This is a multi-generational piece. In that respect, the piece to me is, is like a jewel. Isai Morales plays Chucho, the rebellious son torn between two ways of life. Chucho is that first generation rabble rouser He's an American, he feels, he doesn't feel treated like an American sometimes. I don't want to be like no Mexican, most of all. I don't want to be like you. And Edward James Olmos plays Paco, an aspiring writer who candidly recounts the joys and sorrows of his family over 60 years. Each culture has its own definitive understanding of their, where they come from, where they evolved from, what their mythology is. The core feeling of what this story brings to us as Americans is a, a look at the backbone of what it is to be Mexican in America. Creating multiple time periods was a challenge in itself. It required creating accurate period sets, casting actors to play the roles at different ages, and long sessions of special makeup to age the actors accordingly. I had no idea. <laughs> Myself into. I knew it would be a challenge. I didn't know that seven and a half hours later I would be ready for camera. We torture them to some degree. They really have to put their head back in different angles and put their finger in their mouth. But when they look in the mirror, they can really see their characters. That helps a lot. The set dressing of the Sanchez home required someone who could evoke with authenticity the house of a Mexican-American family throughout various decades. The task was assigned to Chicana artist Patsy Valdez. My research was just to look inside myself. I was born and raised in East LA, and my paintings tend to be very brilliant and colorful and gray. I thought that really reflected the Chicano spirit. And that's what we captured in the interior of the house, I hope. Flor de canela, suspiro cuando me acuerdo de ti. I think the wonderful thing about the script is that although this is a Latino family, this can be any family. This is a film about family and family values, but ethnicity plays a big part in this. It's another take on the American dream. That's all, except through the back door, you know, through the east side. It's always been my dream to do a big family saga. So I think that my family will appeal very strongly to Latinos because they all love and relate to their families in a very profound way. But it's also the greatest crossover point because everybody comes from a family. Very 
amigos.